I wanted to quickly touch upon this. I think I mentioned it beforehand on another stream that I said I think I know I said I think it was sad that no one turned up to Brian Callan's wedding and I'm still maintaining that even though he you know he was accused of what he was accused of which is a pretty egregious and serious allegation that most people wouldn't be down with especially if you don't offer any counter narrative right he got accused of rape and some sexual misconduct stuff and he didn't really offer a narrative he didn't really say what actually happened maybe the rape thing he did kind of clarify and said it was consensual but the stories in los angeles times about that girl who's working in a shop and he allegedly pinned her against a changing room wall he didn't say anything about that um, another story about somebody else you know him pulling out his little pp in a car or something didn't really clarify anything and you know given his age and his level and in industry maybe it made sense why some of his friends would be like you know what let's just call it quits on our friendship because you can't come back from this but i did mention that video about his wedding that i still felt like some of those guys owed him some loyalty or owed him coming to his wedding right like maybe you're not going to be his friend anymore and hang around on podcasts and stuff and not be you know maybe like associated with him that way but when a friend says hey i'm getting married like you should go similar to like a funeral or whatnot if they're your friend you should make some effort to go and i feel like these guys kind of took the piss a little bit by not going but it also feels like Ian is kind of in a bit of a mood or he's in a bad Bad place maybe emotionally or mentally and stuff because he's posting a ton of a ton of sorry throwback pictures he's going through he's flipping rolodex of images and throwing up all these old pictures that he probably deleted before <laughs> that he's throwing back up again to remind himself of the good time of when stuff was sweet like this picture he's got another one he uploaded a reason i'm going to talk about as well but look at this picture he's got one here that says a little more that i learned a little move i learned from the one and only um sean hayes i'm getting as a person who clearly isn't going to be flipping you know in Bear brian's life anytime soon i don't think this sean hayes person i think it's a lady left a comment on his profile nope no comment on there from the sean hayes person so that's a bit brutal and then we've got this other throwback that's really sad i thought was this one featuring will sasso and chris D'Elia. because of course as most of you guys will know they were the free host of the flipping amazing 10 minute podcast one of my favorite from back in the day that was legitimately funny and this is when things were kind of good in their career and clearly things have gone downhill for these two chris is kind of coming back up again brian is clearly down in the dumps so I feel like he's posting um he's posting these things as like a reminder to his friends like hey um I'm still here can you still be my friend please I love you all of that stuff is happening in this picture <laughs> but I feel like it's him basically reminiscing on the good times when it's absolutely brutal the good thing is that Will Sasso and Chris Alia did a reply in the picture with getting tagged in it so that's a good thing you also got Lewis Capaldi maybe one of the most ugliest pop stars that has ever existed there posting a picture and a comment also which is funny right all that boxing you've been doing that's a legendary clip so there's some love there going on but i don't know man i can't help but feel a bit sad for the guy you know things are going relatively okay for a bit maybe the success came a little bit late with the goldbergs and scored and a little cameo in joker but it was going in a good direction imagine because the guy that did joker was is brian callen's friend he probably would have put him in a sequel if he didn't have the smart around his name but now you're flipping you know um doing a solo podcast if he, is, he doing a, is he still doing that podcast with sam tripoli i don't know if he's still doing it but you're doing a solo pod now where you're shilling these flipping horrible elephant sandals he's selling for a thousand pounds and whatnot and all that stupidness you're doing a podcast with what's his name with um brendan like life isn't going the best do you know what i mean it's probably not the greatest time ever to be uh brian callen so that's why maybe you're going out there and doing these flipping interesting throwback whatever it may be to try and feel the love once more but it clearly isn't what it once was before so i don't know man i feel a little bit feel a little bit um bad for the guy i'm not gonna lie i feel like you know life kind of hits you hard and hollywood is brutal now he's of no use no one wants to come around him anymore but like i said i think so many people benefited from his flipping channel benefited from flipping the fire of the kid and now when he needs them the most at his flipping wedding they're nowhere to be found absolutely nowhere to be found absolutely incredible but it's interesting if you look at the video this clip actually this is when he used to dye his hair and his beard isn't it can you see this is clearly a dye job when he was trying to still be the kid and be somewhat young and he had that horrendous peppy the pew trim that he hung on for so long he looks much better now of his hair but that peppy the pew little thing that he did is flipping hilarious um but yeah man Brian, it's not going to the greatest for Brian Cannon at the moment but you know at least he's married and looking happy at least with that so that's a good thing I guess even though you know the age difference is legit isn't it 
legit. Even though she doesn't look super young here anyway, up close, but this is still a, you would imagine, um, I don't know. I don't know. Interesting. Interesting to say the least. Interesting to say the least. So, yeah. I guess that's his vibe. That's his vibe. 